All right, back on the bike. So I got the plate made up. So that drops down in there. So I don't know if I'm going to pull this in deeper or it's going to, I'm going to put space in between the plate and the bracket. Stupid light, don't want to stick in. Okay, now before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and work on this a little bit. Nice carburetor leaks. I'm assuming it's just a leaky carburetor. Uh, it's like an oil leak out of the carburetor. Wonderful. Anyway, I got a. I'm going to try to change out this stud, but I doubt if it's going to come out of there, but we're going to try. So we'll try to do that. I'll put the pipe back on it and then we'll do the bracket and be done with it. So let's see if this will come out. A lot easier than I did the first time I took it off. Okay. So, the stud, it's way up in there. So I'm gonna double nut it, try to pull it. Those first few threads don't look that good in there either. So, unless this is over here, I don't think you see anything when I'm doing anything on this bike. Well, there is no good view. All right, I'm gonna be the back side of my head a bunch, I guess. We'll see what happens. All right, where's my nuts at? The two nuts I've been using all along. Feel like crap. Yeah, let's just go right on there nice and easy. Not quite. I'm get it further, though. First is Jim and us together. I feel like my nuts rounded off. Because I'm not on it. See if we can unscrew it. Nope. Nope. Not coming. So if you keep forcing it, you're going to break it. So we're leaving it. Threads look like crap in there, so oh well.
it. Light pressure on there, just kind of see where it wants to set. Somewhere. Oh, there it is. I see it. it goes up in here. I need two hands to do that. Okay, so the front pipe loose. See it? It can be down there with no problem. So. Moves around. So I can loosen up this pipe here so it can move around also. And we'll see if that bracket will work without anything under it. And we're going to space it up a little bit. Sit. All right, so that's going to dictate kind of where things are at. So you can see how the pipe will rotate. See so it just spins around. See so it's spinning inside the clamp up in here. But see the distance it wants to sit, it wants to have this gap in here. If you push on it, you know, pretty hard, you can move it in, but that's going to make the gasket not seal up in there. So you get these big exhaust leaks, which we do not need. So basically it's going to need uh, spacers between here and here. Now the bottom pipe, you can see that can come in and out a little bit. But it kind of like being out there also. Okay, so we're going to see how this all fits together. Oh shit, well I had that pipe off, I should have... I got that stupid bolt. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to take the pipe off again. Forgot about that. Yep. Thinking about other things instead of all the stuff I should be doing. Okay, I need to work on the over here. So this has all been bent out, so that needs to be beat in. This side looks pretty straight. This one here is the one that's bent. couple of love taps in there to make it look about right. It's been a nice and snug now. Means I might have overdone it slightly. Nah, never. Yep. 
screws will be tight. So you put nuts on your protective thread so you can bead on a little bit. down is the answer. Side to side didn't do much. Okay, so this one here. Okay, it goes all the way against the slot now. All the way. This one here goes in here, but they're too close together, so we're going to have to shorten these up a little bit so they will both fit in here. So we're going to have to figure out how much we need to do that, because I don't know. But basically, they have to fit on this bracket. So as long as they fit in that bracket, we should be fine. So, put them on the bracket. We have to shorten those up enough they fit together. So we'll cut them both equally a little bit with a grinder. And then they'll be able to fit on the plate and we'll be good to go. And with these other ones, I gotta do the same thing too if they're too long. Oh yeah, they're way too long also. Same problem. So those need to be shortened up also so they will fit in there correctly. So we can go do these two also. So we got four of these to do. All right, I'm gonna grind those, be back. Okay, got these all ground where they fit together. So I gotta take the rear pipe off to get these to fit inside it though. Front one I think is good to go. And it doesn't quite go all the way in on that one. This one here does, so we'll put this one in on this side. And this one will go on this side. Like that. Bracket goes on there like that. That one's ready to go on. Not sure how the rest of it's going to fit in there, but that'll be another problem. Again. There we go. Maybe I put the pipe on the bracket here. Okay, I'm going to pull this rear pipe off.
Okay, not good. Okay, now I gotta make this here work. With our studs. There we go. So these don't fit in here. Because the pipe's too big. So we're gonna knock this down a little bit. Use a punch for that. So take a punch. A few taps right here. Ah, I hit my finger. Okay. Take more than that. A little harder now. Okay. Goes in there. It's tight in places. Don't hurt to real, use the real thing when you're doing this. There you go. This real nice. Okay. Other one. Goes right in next to it, no problem. Okay, so these are ready to go back in now. I went and got me some mechanical locking nuts, so they got a little pinch area right there where that little mark is. Pinches the threads a little bit and tightens the nut up. So it's mechanical locking. <clears throat> okay. So our exhaust bracket over here in the back. So this has to come up. And the problems right now is we're all the way in the slot. And we're not we're not getting to the hole. Or like a full hole off on getting in there. So I'm not sure what was going on with that one. Yeah, it's going to be kind of interesting to figure that out. up this top bolt here a little bit. Okay, that's too close. Bump into me. Loosen that up a little bit. Still does not make it. So I'm going to assume there's some slots in this bracket back here. So 
I'm going to go ahead and loosen up these bolts here and see if this whole thing will slide forward a little bit. I don't know how this bracket's made because right now we're we're not going to make it. See how it's not even close? It's pretty far off. So, yeah, I don't think that's going to go forward anymore than we already got. And that bolt looks like it's kind of screwed up already. What a shocker, huh? Screwed up hardware. a little bit but not enough it didn't matter. Ah oh, jeez. Get the lock on everything. Let me look to see if there's leaking any oil over here. It appears to be dry. Hopefully these bolts don't go through that I'm pulling out right now. Does we got a big leak? Definitely are rusty. water coming out of it. Let me wash your bike a lot. Water gets into everything and destroys it. That's why I don't like using water. Rusty powder comes out. Yeah, I'm gonna go clean all this stuff up. It's all full of rust and everything else. I'm gonna slot these holes out in the, the milling machine and I'll put it back in. So I'll be back.